you know, we said this all along. There literally was no crime. The president committed no crime. It was an impeachment in search of a crime. And they never found one. All of their own witnesses, their star witnesses, all said that there was no crime. There was no bribery. And now you've got Pelosi uh, really carrying out her own quid pro quo. She's trying to say, I won't give you the papers unless you do this. Isn't that what they were accusing President <laughs> Trump of? Look, Joe Biden did the quid pro quo that he bragged about. You know, hey, I'll take the billion dollars of taxpayer money if you don't fire the prosecutor. Pelosi is doing a quid pro quo. President Trump's the only one who didn't do one, and they impeached him for it. This is bizarre. Uh, and look, there is no case. It's time for her to give this up, uh, stop the witch hunt, and finally start working for the American people. We could be lowering drug prices. We could have a secure border and do so many other things. But they are the party of impeachment. This is all they have. You know, Congressman, before I go to Congressman Biggs, I just following up on that, Congressman Scalise, you know, it's fascinating because they, they allege the quid pro quo with the president that their only firsthand witness said never happened, Gordon Sondland. And yet the president is the chief executive of the country who's obviously concerned about corruption and foreign aid. He said that many times. And yet now we have Nancy Pelosi with an unconstitutional usurpation of the Senate powers. And where's the media on this? Nowhere celebrating how wonderful Nancy Pelosi is. Am I reading this wrong? You're, you're spot on. And, and look, when the media was kept out of the room by Adam Schiff, where was the media then saying, we're not going to let you impeach a president in secret, behind closed doors? Uh, this is Nancy Pelosi uh, literally saying she has no case. She's, she's already lost one Democrat over this fiasco last week. Jeff Van Drew said, enough already. Uh, I'm not going to be a part of this anymore. Who knows how many more she's going to lose either by switching or a lot of them are just going to get beat next year because the country is fed up with these theatrics. Uh, this this drama by Speaker Pelosi trying to now take over the Senate because she has no case in the House. Shouldn't have moved impeachment in the first place, but they didn't anyway. Uh, the country says, look, focus on lowering drug prices and caring about the working families. Fortunately, President Trump cares about those families and is delivering with a great economy, with a lot of people, with a lot more money in their paychecks this Christmas. This is going to stain her legacy forever. I thought Nancy Pelosi was smarter than this. You deal with her in your leadership position. Again, I, I, I'm, what am I missing in this? She's usually tactically smarter than this. Well, and you know, she used to be in control of that caucus. And now with this new socialist Democrat party, AOC, as you were indicating, AOC is driving the train now. It's her party. If you go back to the impeachment uh, uh, inquiry, she wasn't going to do an impeachment. And then one weekend, AOC tweeted that the real crime is the Democrat majority not impeaching President Trump. And literally two days later, Nancy Pelosi said she was going to impeach the president. Uh, so AOC is okay. driving this party. It's why so many of the moderates have no place left. There, there are no blue dogs left in the Democrat party virtually. She's run them all off because they're tired of the socialist style, but that's all she's got. And they're controlling things right now. That's a great point. I forgot yeah. about that tweet.